Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out my latest video. And this is part two of my altered egg carton video. I did have a part one where I went in and described this actual egg carton, but I decided to do a second video just to show you guys what I'm putting inside of my egg carton in case you're curious if you have to do one of these for a swap and you're kind of curious of some different ideas that you can use for your altered egg carton. And so the first thing I wanted to show you guys um, is I actually also like, when I do swaps, I like to make something else for my partner. And so I did make this cute little bag and I will show this on another video, but my plan is to wrap this in like a larger doily or maybe a table covering or something and then stick it inside of the bag. But I just wanted to show you guys how I plan to present this to my swap partner. And like I said, I will go, there'll be another video on this bag and I'll go into detail in that video. But, um, this video, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm going to put into my altered egg carton. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting next to me. I do like to do a combination of mostly new stuff, but I know my partner does like vintage stuff. So I do have a couple of vintage laces that I'm going to put in here. And so I'll start with those possibly. So I do have like a yard of this vintage Parisian lace that I found a while ago. And I did write that on a little note here for her just so she knew that that was vintage lace. And then I also like when I, when I can, I like to add like a little detail, a little extra detail. Um, so I did add this little bulb pin with a pearl and a charm on it. So I'm gonna stick that in there. But before I do this, I did want to stick some little doilies into the little egg carton. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. And I probably have extras because I just grabbed a big pile of these for my stash. And this way too, when my partner gets, um, when Judy gets this, she can always, you know, if she wants to leave these in here, she can always glue them down. I usually don't glue them down because that way if she wants to use them to make a doily flower or use them on another craft project, she has these available. So it's kind of a fun little extra to include inside of your egg carton. I've seen a few people where they will decorate, like they'll maybe add like some decorative like grasses and stuff in there um, as their base. So that definitely would work too. But like I said, I usually like to do the little doilies. I think that's a fun, a fun little touch. And I don't, I'll hold these up there. That's what the doilies look like. I can't remember if I did that or not. So, so after I do that, then I'm going to go ahead and stick these, um, some of these different items in there. So, um, so I'll, here's, like I said, that vintage Parisian lace. And so I'm going to stick that back here in the corner. And I think it all, you know, I like to also close it just to make sure that it closes too after I add things, if I'm worried that they're sticking up, because I do have these two flowers right here in the corner so I need to check. I was thinking, that's what I was thinking if I added the lace that has a little bit of give to it for this corner and then also for that corner. Um, so I'm just trying to see, I, like I said, I have kind of a pile of stuff here. So I do have another, another lace um, and this one is Italian insertion lace that I got and I did actually receive this from my mom's neighbor and a long time ago she lived in Italy and she used to buy laces and stuff and so she she gifted me a, a while back a ton of her laces and trims and this was one that she gifted me and she gave me quite a bit and so I'm going to gift some of it to to Judy in our swap here and with this lace when it's insertion lace you can like if you have like really small like ribbon you can like insert it in between the pieces in here so that Judy, when she gets this, she could add, you know, you kind of weave it back and forth. So she could add pink trim or blue trim, just some sort of like thin, like maybe quarter inch trim, just basic ribbon is what I would put in there. And then it has the nice little roses on top of that one. So I, and then again, I also added a little charm. This time I used a little birdhouse on that one. I don't always add labels to what's in there, but just sometimes if it's like special lace, I like to add a little label. So I'm gonna set that one there again. I'm just gonna make sure that it closes and it does. 
So I do have some more trims to add in here. So the next one I have is this fun little like cameo trim. So I'm gonna add that. I know that Judy likes to do vintage stuff, so I know she'll appreciate the cameos on here. So I'm just gonna set that, I think for right now, right, right there. And then I also have this fun little bead trim here. You could take it apart to make dangles out of it. Or, um, you know, I suppose you could glue it down on something too, but I usually use it to make dangles. You know, just take apart something, part of it, you know, what, how much ever I need, and then you can add like another little charm to it. So I add that, I'm gonna put that one right here. And most of these I tried to give her a yard, so that's why some of them are a little overflowing because they're a little big for in here, but that's okay, I think that one will still close. And usually my other rule of thumb when I pack um, egg cartons or little gifts like this, I try to pack things that I myself would like to receive. So um, so that's what I added in here. And then um, I have two more like laces and trims. So I do have this nice little vintage pink dusty rose lace that I'm gonna gift her. And again, I just added the bulb pin with a little butterfly charm on that one. So I think I'm gonna put that one right here towards the front. And then I also had this trim, which is beads on kind of this um, trim right here. And again, I added a little feather charm to it. And so I'm gonna add that in here also. And I think I'm gonna reverse it and put the beads up. I think that would be the safest way to do that one. And again, I'm just going to double check and make sure everything closes. So it does. So the next thing I wanted to add is on, on this egg carton, I did use some of this embellishment. You find it from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. It's tulle with some bead sprays in the middle of it. And so I kind of combined them and I already kind of wired them together so that I, that they would fit into, into one of these spots in here. So I thought those would be kind of fun when you open it up. So I'm gonna stick that into one of these spots and I think that'll still close fine. Yep. And let's see, I have a couple other things here. I did make these really cute little jars. I added lace to them and decorated them. You know, I put some bead trims. And then these ones have just some pearls in them. And I got this idea from Amy Love here on YouTube when she and I have gifted done swaps before. Sometimes she'll gift me little things in jars like this that she decorates. And so I did take this idea from Amy Love. If you guys aren't subscribed to her channel, I definitely recommend doing that. Um, she has a wonderful channel. And so I thought these would be fun. So I did decorate two of these for Judy's carton here. And so I'm just going to kind of lay them on their sides in, in here. And then I also figured there's probably a little bit of room next to them to add something else. So I do have some charms. These are kind of some faith-based charms I'm gonna gift my swap partner. And then these ones are more of like a vintage shabby chic style charms that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And so I did stick them in little baggies so that they don't go all over the place inside of here and that they stick stick together. So I'm gonna stick those in the same little carton here, little spot. And then I just, it looks like I have like one, two, three more spots to fill. And so I was thinking I was going to put some flat back pearls in one of these. And so maybe I'll stick those up here. And they probably, they'll probably move when I ship the package, but um, to maybe help it a little bit, I'm just gonna stick another doily on top of that one, just to maybe slightly contain them. I don't think they're gonna stay in there. I should maybe put them in a baggie. So I might do that after I'm done recording. I think I'm gonna put them in a little baggie like I did the charms, because I don't think that they're gonna stay in there very well. Um, I don't know yet, I haven't decided. And then it looks like, so I have two more spots. So I do have these fun little resin pieces. They're little like Easter eggs. And I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna stick those in one of these spots. 
and then that leaves one more spot. And so on, for this last spot, I have these fun little like shabby chic type buttons. And I picked these up from Angel Dreams Crafts Kim a while ago. And so um, I'm going to put a few of those in the bottom. And then I'm hoping I can fit these in there. I don't know. I might end up having to put these in something else for her. But there are these cute little plastic birds. And I think that a long time ago they were used on wedding cakes. But I like to use them for crafting. I found them a long time ago at a thrift store. I found a whole bunch of them and I bought them all because they're so fun to add, add to things. I had debated about adding one to the top of this box when I was creating it. But I'm kind of worried, I guess, that the wings are gonna break in there, so I don't, I'll find something else. I think I have something else to put them in. So the other option I had too was I was gonna add some of these little like dove pieces. So I think I'm gonna put those in there to fill it up. And then, then again, I'm just gonna cover that one too with a little doily, I think just to kind of contain it. So that's pretty full. And then I wanted to show you a couple other little things that I created. And like I said, um, so what I was gonna do with this is again, I'm gonna wrap like a larger doily or a table covering or something over it just to contain everything and then put it in that pink bag that I showed you guys before I shipped it off to her. But I did create a couple other fun little things that I'm gonna fill. So I'm gonna maybe put these little birds in one of these. So these were like paper mache eggs and they originally came from Target. You can even see the Target. But I did paint them and crackle them and then I added some laces and trims to them. This one they got kind of off center but um, so I was thinking I would add a couple of little embellishments or things to the inside of these. So I think I'm going to put these birds on the inside of this one. Hopefully they fit, I guess. Yep. So that's, and then I might, because I still have a little, a little doily, I might just put that in here too, just to kind of protect it a little bit more. So yeah, that's not moving, so that's good. So then I think they're protected in there. And so this last one, what I was thinking I was gonna gift her in this one is I have some little bling. I usually like to include some bling in my swaps and you, I very easily could have put some small pieces of bling inside of the egg carton, but um, I decided to put it in one of these little eggs instead. I think I tried it out and I think they'll all fit in here. Um, you know, here's kind of some, like this one's a button right here. And these ones are more little charms so that you could add things to the top and bottom. Here's like a little like pin. These are fun because you can like, I could have like attached this on top of the doily here if I wanted to. And I like this one. I know Judy likes um, vintage stuff and this one isn't vintage, but it looks very vintage to me. And this one's kind of a fun one too where you can put lace lace through here. So um, again, I tried all these earlier and they, they seem to fit in the egg. So, so I'm gonna put all of those in here. And I might actually try and find also another, I think I still have a, another one of those little doilies. I don't have one sitting on my, my table, but I might stick one in there just so it doesn't shake quite as much. So I'm gonna also include those in there. So I wanted to show you guys that. And then I had a couple other little things sitting here. So I think I'm gonna try and stick these also. There's some little paper embellishments that I made a while ago, some little teapot ones. And I think there's still room to maybe stick these just kind of laying on top in here. So I think I'm going to do to do that. I think it'll still close. Yep, so I'm gonna stick those in there. And then I wanted to show you, I did create, I like making these where um, I put paper on some chipboard and then I wrap laces around them. So I have this fun little one to share with Judy 
and you can see I decorated the top with some flowers. These were pieces off of some earrings and some seam binding. And the paper that I used for this came from Authentique. It was an Easter paper collection that kind of had a vintage feel to it. And I was going to use one of those images on the top instead of this bunny, but then I ended up using the bunny. So, but I had already cut these out. So, and then here was the other lace I was gifting her. It kind of looks like a bridal trim lace. And again, I just attached a little charm on there and the tops decorated exactly the same. It just the paper is slightly different. So I'm also gonna put those in the bag. And then the other thing that I was thinking about doing was um, on the inside of my egg carton, I was thinking of adding, I had this little kind of like doily type table covering thing. So I was just thinking of folding that up and just kind of putting it again on the top right here. And that will also kind of help keep things from shifting so much in there if you add a little bit more inside like that. Um, I've done that before where you just add a little doily. So I need to fold it in a little bit to make it close, but I, I've already tried it and it does seem to work. And then the other thing I was going to gift her in the package was some other little doilies. And so I did create this. It's on a little bulb pin and then one of these ribbon clips and you just add like little snippets of lace. And so I'm going to attach this on top of here with all these doilies. And so I'll just show you those real quick. I had this little heart. That's more of a snippet, but I like it. So I'm going to share that with her. This little heart Battenberg doily. I have another little heart doily here. I have this fun butterfly one. Another little vintage one with a little basket on it. Another vintage one. These are fun just to use on like wall, wall hangings and stuff. Or if you make journals, you can definitely use them in journals too. And then I had this one. This one's a newer one, but it's a nice, nice one. This one you can cut apart or leave as is. But that one was kind of a nice one. So I added that one. And then another Battenberg one that kind of looks like a flower which I thought was kind of appropriate since this is a kind of a spring or Easter one. And this one's a vintage one. So um, I am going to attach all those with the little pin here. So I will also include that in, in the swap. So, so again, thank you so much, everybody, so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.